What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. Yes, man, we are back here with another video. Now, before you do anything, go on and press that like button for your boy. Go on and press the subscribe button if you are a new viewer to my channel. And also, turn the post notifications bells so you can be notified every time I post a new video. Now, as you can see by the title and the thumbnail, this is the best updated point guard build for season seven. Now, I know some of y'all are new to NBA 2K22 because some of y'all are getting this game for free because unless you didn't get it for free, unless you just getting it, unless you just playing 2K, whatever it is, this is the best point guard build for Season 7, which Season 7 did release this past weekend. So this is the point guard build you want to make. Now, in order to get the metric system, you're going to have to go to settings, go down to units of measurement, I think, and switch it to imperial system. Now, this is the height and the way you're going to want to put your point guard build to get the best possible badge count to get a great start on NBA 2K22, even though it's almost over. You know, just have fun with the time you can on this game. I mean, it don't really matter. The game, it is what it is. And they drop mascots and jetpack on nation. So this build will help you get those rewards quicker than you think. Now, as you can see, the first thing I did was I did max out the three-pointer. Y'all know, always max out your three-pointer on all of your builds. It don't matter what build it is. Unless you want it to be an inside center, don't max the three-pointer out. But you see, I maxed out the three-pointer. I gave his mid-range a 90. Maxed out the um, ball handle for his playmaking and the speed with ball. But I did tone down the pass accuracy. And I did max out his, well, I gave his steal to a 96. And I gave his perimeter a 94. Now, as you can see, for the physicals, max out most of the physicals, max out the stamina, you know, to get to a little, to make sure your player can actually dribble, and he can have stamina when he dribbles. But right now, as you can see, the batch count is 2, 32, 29, and 20. Now, for me, this is a two-way demigod point guard build, because the only thing this point guard build can't do, really, is grab rebounds, and he doesn't get intimidated, but he does get Hall of Fame clamps and gold minutes and Hall of Fame pickpocket. And Hall of Fame interceptor. Now those badges should work to their capabilities sometimes, but y'all know how 2K is sometimes. But as you can see, I did tone down the speed with ball just a little bit, so you can at least put some on his finishing. Now I did tone down the mid-range shot too, and I put it up to just the 80, so you can have a good rating for you know the mid-range shot if you choose to shoot it, which I do recommend you do shoot it. And you see, I put the rest on his driving up. So your badge count can be 9, 27, 27, and 20. Now this is not that bad for a 6 3 point guard two-way two-way player build. I'm not gonna lie to you. Now with the takeovers, it really doesn't matter what you put for your takeover since you are new. But I do recommend putting on limitless range because that takeover does work. Pillar precision does kind of work too. Sniper that'll really help that badge kick in mostly. Now, if you want to choose playmaking, that'll work too. I don't recommend choosing the lockdown takeovers because they really don't work if you are a point guard. Now, as you can see, the title for this build does come out to a two way three point playmaker. But, you know, in this game, that's not a rare title for real, for real. They call a lot of builds this. But I'm telling you, man, this build. Is going to be nice. His build is 6'3 in a regular height, and his wingspan is 6'8. And I put the wing, no, I put the weight all the way down if you wanted to know what it was. But these are some of the finishing badges I would give this play. You, it really doesn't matter what badge, which setup you go, is really personal preference. But this is just my preference for the badges. Now, I did give him gold catch and shoot, gold hot zone hunter, gold rhythm shooter, and I do recommend turning your sniper down to silver. Silver works better. Sniper works better for silver for me. It just does. And green machine, that's a good bad. Circus threes, I do recommend trying to learn circus threes because fadeaway threes are more overpowered than regular standing threes in this game. It just is. I'm not going to lie. Now, try to put... No, when you do your playmaking... Make sure the unpluggable is on gold because you will get ripped on silver. 
Now, you do need handles for days too because that gives your player stamina when he does dribble. So, as you can see, I would tone some or tweak some or really change the badge count on how you want to like put it. But I do try to recommend putting handles for days on something. Now, the defense is crazy. So, you get a Hall of Fame clamps. I do recommend putting clamps on Hall of Fame gold minutes. It really don't matter what you put your minutes on. You could use that Hall of Fame pit pocket. That badge does work because a lot of people ball handle is low. But as you can see, if you want to change some badges around, you might not have enough badge count for it. But since you get the rebirth, you do choose where you want to put your badges. You can get to put all four of your badges somewhere here or somewhere there. But yeah, that's really it for the video. And make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you are new to my channel, man. And I'm out. Peace.